this is going to be a real chill type of video. Um, you got to bear with me. Don't laugh at me. Don't poke fun at me. TikTok made me do it. TikTok made me do it. And I picked up some Middle Eastern fragrances um, that I have to make a decision quick because I've had these almost to the 30 day mark where I can return at no charge. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna like any of these because they were all blind buys. I got some Middle Eastern fragrances that were recommended on TikTok um, from walmart.com from a reputable seller. Um, and I also got some from Amazon. And I think I picked one up at in Orlando when I drove there to, uh, to the outlets. So, um, with that being said, let us get into the video. Let's see what they're giving, okay? See it, I like it, I want it, I got it, yeah, I want it, I got it. Okay, so the first fragrance we're going to start off with is Yara. Let's see what she's giving. I already took the wrapper off most of them, so I, I'm, I'm guessing this one, I can take the wrapper off this one as well. Mm, I can smell this one through the box. Now, TikTok made me pick this up. TikTok made me buy this. Everybody on TikTok and Facebook and stuff had this one. Um, and I picked this one up, I believe, from Amazon. The little seal of authentication is on the back right here. So I feel like I picked up something that is legit because... I heard some horror stories of people picking up some items from Latafa that were not the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So I got this one and um, let's just open her up. And I heard another person on YouTube say that you needed to empty the chamber. Okay, just clear her out and see what she's giving. So, okay. Whew. Oh my gosh, there's dustiness everywhere. All right, so this is Yara by Latafa. It's a gorgeous pink, baby pink bottle that, um, it looks nice. I don't have any qualms about it. Um, I thought it would have been a little bit bigger, but um, she's not. She's just giving pink powder puffs right now. So let's see what she smells like. I think I gotta spray this out about four times, someone said, I don't know. So I'm gonna spray this box because I got so many perfume videos to do, I don't want to spray my skin. Okay, so I heard a couple people say that it smells or supposed to smell like a strawberry shortcake or something, I'm, I can't remember. Mm. Okay. It smells good. It doesn't smell like a strawberry shortcake to my nose, but um, it definitely, it's a beautiful smelling fragrance. I, I detect, I detect a hint of powderiness in here. Um... Mm, I detect powder. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know the nose for this. I don't know the nose for any of these, but I'll try to leave that up um, on the side for you. I'm just going to kind of give you a little, a little, I don't know. I'm going to just try to describe to you what I smell. Okay, so one person on TikTok did say this smells like milkshake, like a strawberry milkshake. I get milkshake. I'm going to let this sit because it's way too early to make that determination. And um, yeah, this is Yara by Latafa. The next one that I am going to get into is 
uh, Yara Tus by Latafa. This is another one that I have been dying to get in. I know I'm gonna like this one because of that mango note. And I think there is coconut in here as well. So of course, you know, I love anything tropical and I do love coconut in any form, okay? Um, coconuts never let me down before. So I think I'm gonna like this one. This is what the bottle looks like, Yara Tus by Latafa. Let's get a spray on it. I'm gonna empty the chamber is what they say, so. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I get, first of all, I don't, I don't even get coconut here. I get the mango. Okay, let me see. Ooh, love it. Mm. It's definitely a beautiful smelling fragrance. Right off the top, not because it's mangoes in here, but because it is tropical and it's something that i feel like i can deal with now this is just on paper and you know i love placing things on my skin but because i'm running out of time and it's eight o'clock it's 8 p.m right now and i need to get myself ready for work tomorrow because vacation is officially over um i want to go ahead and open these up so when i go to work there's an amazon retail store or the the amazon warehouse not too far from me um if i have to take anything back girl it's going back okay so this this smells good i really like this one again this is yara tus by latafa let me just close this up a little this video is going to be unedited i just i don't have the time i don't have the time i just want to make this video see what i like what i love and what i don't like what i don't love girl they're going back period so the next one i think i picked this up from joma shop this was 21 dollars. yeah it was this one is latafa fakar this is from the pride collection that's all I remember. I didn't do a lot of research, but a lot of people have been loving this one. Look at the packaging for this. Look at it. Again, this one does have the seal of authentication on the back and the packaging is everything, okay? So, oh my gosh. This is what she looks like. Hopefully I like this because I think someone mentioned that it's uh, this one has tuberose. I'm not a big fan of tuberose, um, but so we'll see. Let me try to get this out. <sighs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Ooh, child. Goodness. All right, so this is what Latafa Fakar looks like. I hopefully I'm pronouncing this the correct way because girl, I don't even care at this point. All right, let's, I'm, I have a piece of paper, tissue paper here. I am going to see if this is gonna be for me because it has tuberose. Mm. This is supposed to be a dupe for Alon to Deep by Givenchy. Mm. Okay, it smells like it's a real floral heavy fragrance. Now, I'm not into a lot of real big old florals. I feel like floral heavy fragrances are old ass flowers that they, they picked or just I don't know. 
Mm -mm. Hold on. All right. I I mm. Mm -mm. All right. So. Mm -mm. I don't know about Fakar. I don't know. I don't know about Fakar. Let me. Mm -mm. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to even want to. I'm going to put this to the side and I'll come back to it. I love the packaging, though. But mm, I don't know. It's something about it that is just. It's just not smelling like it's for me, period. So we'll see. I'm going to put that to the side. Oh, I don't know. The next one that I have that I heard so much about from Abby here on YouTube, she spoke about this one. This is the All Her Main Amber Oud Gold Edition. This is what the packaging looks like. Ooh. And you open it up like this, and then this is that gorgeous bottle. It's a beautiful little case. I wish I could keep these cases. One thing about these Arabian or Middle Eastern perfume places is that they will make you feel like royalty. Every time I open one of these, I feel like it's Christmas. That's how I feel. I'm really, really super excited to see what the others are going to give, okay? I'm into a lot of spicy. I'm into a lot of um, fragrances that are unisex. This is on the website claimed to be unisex and i'm all for it i have creed adventures for her and that one comes off really really unisex my husband and i both wear that one even though he has the creed adventist for him but anyway that's not about this or that let's just get into this beautiful box and let us get into the fragrance so on this piece of tissue I am going to spray All Her Main Amber Oud Gold Edition. I believe this was the 1.7 fluid ounce. I'm gonna try to leave the prices that I paid up top because prices fluctuated and I think I paid like $34 for this one. Let me just empty my chamber. Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Mmm. I actually like this one a lot. Mmm. This is definitely a very spicy unisex fragrance. It's leaning towards more on the masculine side, and that is what I like. A beautiful bottle with beautiful results. Mmm. I'm gonna to try to leave the notes for you, like I said. But this is just gonna be a more chill sit down video. I don't have time for all the editing, I don't. Take me as I am or talk about me. But I think I like this one. And that is on period. Mm, I love it. Love that one. So what do we have next? Next, we have, this was sent to me from a company, um, a purchase I made from a reputable seller on Walmart. Um, this was sent to me as a thank you, I guess. Um, this is from the Latafa Pride Collection. This is Ladath. Ladath. Latafa Ladath. And it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance um, sample, okay? So I did go ahead and smell this one. I cheated because I was like saying to myself when I first got the package, I was like, I didn't order anything else. I hope they didn't charge me. But they sent me a beautiful sample that I already have in my cart on Amazon. So this is La Tafa La Dot from the Pride Collection. And this is what the bottle looks like. So all I remember from this, since I've already sprayed it, 
is that it is a beautiful, jammy, sweet jammy rose that just smells absolutely amazing. I just, the price dropped. I got the notification yesterday and still I haven't cashed out. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but this is definitely going to be um, in my arsenal really, really soon because I feel like this is a very modern take on a floral. I don't know if it's rose in here. There's something, some type of beautiful jammy floral. It's a, I feel like it's a jammy rose fragrance. Oh, and it smells so good. It has a little bit underlying powdery note to it. This is the only thing that I can really talk about because this is the only thing that I sprayed and went about my day. Yeah, so I really like this one. Latafa Ladath. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly from the Pride Collection. Love it. So the next one that I have that again, I'm super, super, super excited to go ahead and wear. I heard so many good things about it. It was all the rave on TikTok and on YouTube and out here in these streets. Um, Pride uh, authentication sticker on the back and it is from Latafa. This is Sakina. So she spoke to me. She spoke to me and I had to have it. Now, how do I open this? Oh, okay. So this is the way she opens. Hopefully I don't drop anything, but this is how she opens. And oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Super excited for this. This is Latafa Sakina. Um, a gorgeous bottle. Look at, look at this. This just, doesn't this just scream royalty? It's definitely giving princess vibes over here and Oh my gosh, I'm super, super happy to have this. Like, I want to keep this box forever because it looks like it definitely screams royalty to me. And it's a beautiful bottle, as you can tell. Um, it is a very gorgeous, velvety type of bottle and it has that gold on it. It looks like some sort of a crown. I don't know, but I'm excited to spray this one. So let's get a spray on it. Because I don't want to make this video too, too long. Like I said, I do have to get back to work tomorrow. So let's just empty the chamber. Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh my gosh. Woo, strong, strong, okay? There is one word to describe this. Strong is not even the word, it's pungent, okay? It is boisterous, it's loud, it is unforgiving. Ooh. It's definitely a fruity fragrance. You can definitely get some type of fruit note in here. It smells absolutely amazing. Mm. I don't know what else is in here, you guys. I just bought it. I bought into the hype because I heard that this was a fruity fragrance and that is what I, I wanted. I wanted fruit. I know the summer is over, but I feel like I can wear this in the fall too because it's so loud and unapologetic. Oh, I love this. Amazing. Amazing for the price. I think I paid like $35 for this. Oh, again, this is Latafa Sakina. And she, she will definitely be in my collection. She's not going back. Nope. Mm -mm. She ain't going back, girl. 
I'm keeping her for a long time. It smells so good. Let's try to get her back in here. Yep, there we go. Now, the next one is one that I picked up. I believe I got this one from Walmart. Amazon did not carry it. And again, I got it from a reputable seller on Walmart. This one is a limited edition. Now, when I heard it was limited edition, I had to run out. I had to run out and pick this one up because I felt like the notes that I heard that this one had, it spoke to me. Let me stop beating around the bush. This one is from Swiss Arabian, and this one is Shagaf Oud Ahmar. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Again, this one is limited edition. She came in this beautiful red and gold box, and oh, she opened almost similar to the Al Harmain. All right, let me move these because I'm gonna keep sniffing them. So this is what it looks like. How gorgeous is that? A red and gold bottle. I feel like already she is backup worthy. Look at the presentation and look at the freaking bottle. It's screaming buy another one before it runs out of style. Buy another one before you can't get it any longer. I mean, look, look at the cap. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. I mean, the bottle is freaking heavy. And let's, let's see what the liquid on the inside is screaming. I mean, I can talk all day. Let me just empty the chamber. Woo! Mmm! Mmm! Woo! Strong. I did hear someone say that this one does not have oud in it. I could be wrong, but again, I'm going to leave the notes for you because, girl, I don't know. Ah. Oh. This smells so amazing, you guys. It smells really good. Mmm, I love this one. I feel like I can detect fruitiness. I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm detecting. I don't know what all the other notes are because ooh just changes my whole perspective on fragrances. It just takes into takes it into a whole different dimension for me. Mm, I love this one. I feel like this one is backup worthy. I feel like I'm going to miss out if I don't get a backup of this one because it's so, so super intense and it's good and the bottle is looks amazing and it just looks like like royalty. I don't know how else to explain it. So yeah. Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud Akmar. Love it. Definitely a repurchase for me. Mm, smells good. All right, we're almost done, guys. I promise. I have another one that I did try to take out of the plastic because I don't know this one sorry about the noise is Leali Rouge by Swiss Arabian that is the little box that it comes in this one is a fragrant body oil so I should have taken these out a long time ago I don't know why I waited but I only have a few days before I can send this back. Um, this one has the 
seal of authentication on the side. And this one is what? Swiss Arabian? Yeah. Does this one have a seal of authentication? I don't see that. Where is it? see it. I didn't even look. Oh. Oh well. Let's see. Alright, so this is the box and this is the fragrant body oil. This one is Leali Rouge. And I like the fact it's just such it's just so classy. I mean, look at this. You take the whole wand and you place it on your skin. Now this one is supposed to have mangoes and pineapples and different things in it. It's definitely giving fruity. I don't know if I can say that it's giving mangoes and pineapples, but I'm just going to let this sit on my skin for just a minute. This one, I feel like I paid just $21 for this. It was really inexpensive and is such a beautiful bottle to place on my vanity. Um, and it definitely has the um, Leali Rouge Swiss Arabian little um, stamp of approval on the bottom. This one is 15 milliliters and um yeah i feel like i'm gonna come back to i don't know how people are getting fruit from the very on the very first sniff i didn't get that but yeah leali rouge by swiss arabian mm, i'm gonna come back to it because maybe i'm just smelling a whole bunch of things and um i just i don't get it i don't get it I don't get it. I don't know. I'm going to come back to it. So we only have three more things. This one is another cult favorite of many on here on YouTube. Um, this one came a little bit damaged and I was really, really upset about that. But I did go ahead and open this one up. I didn't smell it just yet, but I did open it up to uh, make sure that the product wasn't damaged. Um, even the packaging came damaged and I think I got this one from Amazon from that reputable salesperson that I I found and this is her little stamp of authenticity right over there and um, yeah this one is Ansam Gold by Latafa and I think this one is from the Pride collection as well so this is how ooh, this is how it opens up and this is the gorgeous bottle on the inside if i can get it out so again look at the lux look at the luxury i have never been to you uh alta or sephora and gotten such luxurious items that make you it it just makes you feel like luxury it makes you feel like it, 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 it gives the sense of wealth. It gives a sense of, I don't know, that's what I'm getting from this. I feel like I'm definitely a wealthy person just by opening these. It, it makes me happy. I don't know how else to describe it. So this again is Latafa Ansem Gold from the Latafa Pride collection. Let us go and empty the chamber, give it a few sprays. Okay, so this is supposed to be an a love don't be shy dupe, and I've never gotten my nose on that one. And it's also supposed to be Oriana, I believe, by Parfums de Marley. That one I have put my nose on. I did go into store and I smelled that one at Dillard's. And I feel like Without a decan, because it's been a while, I really can't remember how it smells, but I did get my nose on that one. 
So I can't really say whether it is similar or the same, but either way, this was under $50 and that one was $325. So I feel like this, this smells amazing. It does. I feel like I'm definitely going to be liking this one a lot in the fall. I feel like this is an everyday, everywhere, 365 day type of fragrance. And it's definitely luxury in a bottle. When you wear this, I feel like you'll smell like well. Period. Like you will smell wealthy when you wear this because it just has or gives off that type of vibe yeah I like this one and um, I'm glad that I do have it the girlies on TikTok they were going crazy over it and they were talking a lot about it and I've just been putting in my carts and buying and I'm glad that I do own this one at this point I think it's gonna be an asset for the fall Mm, I love it. it. Smells good. So the next one I have is from Latafa. This one is Confidential Private Gold. Comes in this little gold and black box. And I don't can't remember what the dupe. Oh, this is supposed to be a dupe of Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. And they even tried to emulate the bottle a little bit. So. Let me go ahead and, um, yeah, let me show you what it looks like. It looks just like, very similar to the Tiziana Terenzi bottles. And, um, yeah, let me go ahead and spray this so I can try to get a feel for what Kirke would smell like. Because I've never had that or never put my nose on it. So... If this smells good to me, I'm guessing it is a dupe because a lot of people said that it smelled exactly the same. And without me ever putting my nose on it, I I got it because of the fruit that's in here. Mmm. I think there's passion fruit in here. Mmm. It's definitely leaning uh, unisex. It's definitely leaning unisex. It's giving very much fall vibes and summer vibes. And it's definitely a fruity, very um, mouth-watering type of fruity fragrance. Yeah, I like this one. I really do. Definitely. So let me put that back. I'm definitely keeping this one because... The vibes are definitely, the vibes are there, okay? So let me put this one back. And the box is simple, but it's a straightforward type of box. But the fragrance in here is, is everything, period, period. Messed up my box. The last one I have is from Latafa, and I just damaged my box. It just fell. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this is the little seal on the back, and it is Camera by Latafa. All the girlies on TikTok were talking about this. All the girlies on YouTube and on Instagram were talking about this one because it was supposed to resemble Angel Share by Kim Killian. It's supposed to smell like it and the bottle is supposed to replicate Killian. It does. It does. Killian's bottle is just round. I do know because I do own that one. But this is definitely a cognac bottle right here. Um, it's a beautiful looking bottle with a beautiful um the juice looks like it is colored just right so let me put this 
right over here. I'm so mad I messed up my box. Mmm. Uh. It's definitely giving cinnamon. It's, it's definitely giving that cinnamon vibe when you first smell it. I'm going to spray this one in the air. I'm not even going to. Mmm. Ooh. Strong. Ooh. Ooh. Went all the way up my nose. Ouch. Okay, yeah. This is definitely... This is definitely giving Killian Angel's hair. Um, I don't know if it's giving Angel share at 100%, but I know it's definitely, it smells like it. And um, I wish I knew about this before I paid 200 and plus dollars for Killian's Angel share. This was an expensive, I got this for like 50 bucks maybe um, from Amazon and I wish I knew about it. I could have gotten five for the price of one. So um, I'm happy either way, but I'm going to be going in on this one because it is less expensive and it smells absolutely amazing. So this one again is Camera by Latafa. What an amazing, beautiful fall fragrance just here in time for the holiday. And what an amazing, beautiful um, decor for your vanity. It just looks absolutely amazing in the box, even though I just messed mine up. But I really do like this one. So happy to have it in my collection. So you guys, that is it. Those are all the... Arabian, the Middle Eastern fragrances that I have added to my collection over the past couple of weeks, probably almost a month, because I have to figure out, you know what, let me try to figure out whether I like this one or not. Where is it? I don't know if I'm going to like Fakar. I don't know if I am going to truly like Fakar. And I do have only a couple of days to send it back if I don't like it. Let me try to give it a spray on the skin because on the skin just it's everything. Okay, it means it means more than the paper, like for me. So let me get a spray on the skin. And that'll really determine whether I like this one or not. Or whether I'm gonna keep this one or not. Chloe, be quiet. Oh no. I'm saying I want to like it because I don't have anything that resembles Givenchy Lantadit. I don't have anything that really is close to that. And I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I don't want to make any quick judgments because I'm going to... I need to let these macerate. I mean, I need to let these sit out for a few more days before I can really make that determination. But... With that being said, this might be the only one that is going to go back to the store because I'm not going to keep anything that is making my throat just, the back of my throat just ooze. I can feel like there's a, a saliva build up in the back of my throat. And I know whenever a fragrance does that to me, it is not for me. Okay, that's for somebody else. Period. Like, I don't. I'm not going to wear something or keep something that I am not going to wear. And I can feel that build up right back here somewhere. And um, yeah, so I'm going to give it a couple more days. I think I've had it in my arsenal for about 27 days. Um, but in a couple more days, I'm going to respray this one. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to respray it and see what she's given. Okay. Right now, she is not giving. She's giving heavy 
florals and the freaking tuberose in here is, I can't, I can't, I can't, and I'm not going to do it. So that is it. That is it. That is it, you guys. So thankful and I'm so grateful that you hung out with me for this, this haul, this Arabian Middle Eastern haul. Um, these are fragrances that I knew nothing about. This is first sniff for me for all of them except one and you held it down for me. You were there with me all the way through. You held my hand through it because this could have been a disaster and I only had one con and that is that fakar. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to let my fragrances sit for a couple more days, see what they're giving. And at the end of the 29 days, I'm going to make a return or I'm going to see if I'm going to keep them in my collection. You'll be the first to find out um, because you stuck with me. So with that being said, to all my subscribers, I love you. To everyone who has stopped by my channel just to take a peek, go ahead and subscribe. Give this a thumbs up and may God bless you until the next video.